now that we verified that the screen works correctly uh, the next thing on my list is uh, and again I'm not gonna assemble this yet because I need something for the vent but I'm gonna replace the steering wheel um, I don't have a replacement wheel yet but what I need to do is I need to remove it and I also need to um, recover it you know, I was gonna get the replacement, uh, but again, it's not gonna look great. And uh, I'm just gonna take a stab at it. I saw some good results in the forum, so we'll see what happens. All right, um, I was just gonna disconnect the battery, but I'm gonna end up removing it completely just to clean around this area and uh, hopefully there's no rust. I also need it out because I'm gonna install my uh, Bluetooth uh, module, but more on that later. For now, we're just gonna disconnect the battery so I can remove the steering wheel. Okay, now I'm inside, and I'm sure you've seen videos on this before, so I'm not gonna elaborate too much. Uh, see this little hole here, and there's one on the other side. So, what you want to do is you want to insert the flathead screwdriver, and you want like the flat part to be. You know horizontal so you get in there fish for the clip and uh, it should pop out okay the airbag is off and I just want to show you because nobody seems to show it in their videos here's the bar that you're trying to push see this thing here so when you insert your screwdriver here's what it looks like So once that's pushed in, that's how the airbag unclips. So basically just follow this hole when you push your screwdriver and don't go like this, don't go like that, don't pry, just go straight, go straight like that, push it in. So I disconnected the airbag partially. Now I just need to undo this little ground and the airbag will be out. Right, and last but not least, Let's see if my uh, little Craftsman impact gun is going to remove this uh, 16 mm nut. Yeah, yeah, I know you're going to, someone's going to scream at me for not using the right socket, but whatever. Like, it's not an impact socket. Yep. Did the trick and the steering wheel should pop off I'm gonna need both hands I did mark it all right so now that the wheel is off Next thing we're going to do is uh, completely strip it. I'm going to take off the trim, the buttons. Um, the buttons themselves look good, but the trim around them is eh, flaky. Uh, the bottom trim looks okay, but again, we're going to strip it all. Um, I believe it all comes apart from the back. Use a uh, Torx bits to get these off. So what I decided to do with the ladder is uh, instead of trying to fix it because I've been told that this cannot be fixed because the top layer of leather is uh, completely gone, is I'm gonna rewrap it myself because no one seems to be up to the task and uh, I got this thing from new leather from Amazon and it's actually fake leather but I I picked it over genuine because I read that it's actually more durable and uh, the texture and everything matches genuine leather and it's cheaper. It's durable, cheaper and looks about the same. Uh, that's what I decided to go with.
here we have all the parts laid out for my st steering wheel. Uh, it was rewrapped with this Me Want leather cover from Amazon. And I repainted all the trim pieces myself and the results are actually really good. Uh, I mean, these pieces look as good in, in life as they do on camera. I couldn't be uh, more happy with that. Now I just have to reassemble all this and pop it in the car. The paint that I used was this right here. Found it to the Home Depot. Uh, I think it took maybe like five or six coats, uh, but I went really light just to make sure that it was all consistent. There is a small crack here that I glued. You can still kind of see it at certain angles. I'm not too worried about it. I used that same speedy fix that I used before. It's, uh, I think it's pretty strong. All right, let's put this thing back together. Well, that was a fail of epic proportions. Okay, not epic, but uh, yeah, that uh, glue didn't hold up that trim piece. So I'm just gonna try to glue it again and maybe try to add some more material and see how that works. Yeah, it's a little disappointing, but we'll fix it. Okay, take two. Gonna try to be a little more careful here. But I got a feeling that we're gonna end up having to buy a new trim. Okay, take two. I glued this again. And I think it's gonna be a little stronger now, but let's see if this works. Okay, this is gonna be my final attempt. 
I will not be able to glue this any better. Uh, as you can see, I, well, you can't see, but I widened this gap a little bit uh, just to reduce the tension on this part when I, uh, when I install it. So I just hope that it works. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to buy a new trim kit. And I really don't want to do that. Alright, so as you can see, widening this gap did the trick. Uh, there's not a whole lot of tension now on this on this side, so and it fits snugly. So we should be good to go. Okay, let's go pop this thing in. Okay, let's uh, put this bad boy in. And don't forget, uh, well actually you should have remembered this when you removed it, uh, to mark the shaft and mark the steering wheel so you know how to uh, put it back. It has to go back in the same exact position. I made two marks, one on top, one on the bottom, just to make sure that it all lines up. Alright, now it's the time to put the bolt in. grab a torque wrench and torque this bad boy in um, I don't remember the torque spec but I'll look it up in a second I had to do this off camera because I needed two hands um, but this thing is torqued it's a 60 millimeter bolt uh, to 46 foot pounds or pounds feet Okay, now we're gonna pop in the airbag. I'm gonna connect it, uh, connect the plugs to the to the airbag first, and then I'll plug it in to the um, clock spring. And here's the final result. So if you remember how the steering wheel looked before and how it looks now. It's a night and day difference. It's a very doable DIY project, not for the faint of heart. And it's not 100% perfect. If you're a perfectionist, uh, then you're gonna be disappointed because they're a little, you know, little imperfections here. I'm gonna play around uh, with some plastic trim tools, see if I can tuck this in a little better, but and this is way better than it was before and I'd say it's uh, you know 85 to 90 percent uh, completed to my satisfaction so I'll take it